I'm JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to test a NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000 graphics card with five popular game titles. We are aware that this graphics card is not made specifically for gaming. However, if you use this card already and your system maybe use it for work or in a professional environment, um, this video will be helpful to you because it will show you how well it would do in a gaming environment. We've also found some promising information on the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000 spec page. They say join the Quadro Experience beta program. Optimize your GPU performance with the NVIDIA Quadro Experience beta program. Get alerts for the latest driver updates, instant 4K recording capabilities, and access to gaming features. So hopefully that means that this beta program will provide new drivers that will be better for gaming and professional environments. These are the manufacturer specs for the Quadro RTX 4000 graphics card on NVIDIA's website. Before we run through some games, we wanted to show you the specs to our testbed. We used a Precision 3630 with an Intel i7-8700K processor, 32 gig of DDR4 memory, and a two terabyte NVMe M.2 solid state drive. The RTX 4000 has three DisplayPort 1.4 connections, and one virtual link connection. This is what the RTX 4000 graphics card looks like when it's installed into our Precision 3630 workstation. We'll now run through some popular game titles to check the performance. For each game we used a 1920 by 1080 resolution and high settings. We also kept the frames at 144 and attempt to manage the temperature of the card.
To recap, the RTX 4000 performed well compared to other Quadro graphics cards that we have tested in the past. Our only issue that we had with the card is that it averaged temperatures over 80 degrees Celsius while gaming, which is way too hot. You could fix this issue by either lowering the game settings or adding more cooling to manage the temperatures. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.